Hey guys, I was just getting ready and I was like, should I film something today? Recently, um, my sister and I were watching some of my old videos on my channel and we went on our family cruise. And it's something that in the moment I just liked making so much because I was just like, I wanna edit videos and I wanna do this. And I thought actually that's what I wanted to do for a living. I thought I wanted to be a video editor. And that obviously didn't turn out to be what I ended up doing, although I really don't know what I'm even doing. But watching them now in the year 2019 really showed me that like, I love my channel, not because, you know, people watch them or I can interact with people on them. All of those things are great, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I get more excited when I go back and watch an old video and it just makes it so crazy. Now, not every video I've ever posted was an amazing video and you know, the greatest thing ever created. I just looked and the first video that's on my channel is public. I don't think is the very first video I posted, but that video is still nine years old. To me, that's crazy that nine years ago, I still would sign into the same account and post something and talk about what I was going through. And in that one, I was in high school and I was probably 14, 15. The first time I ever posted and uploaded was to another channel and I just would make weird videos with my friends um, on the weekend. And I think that at that time I was probably about 13. To me, it's crazy to still be able to go back and see how much I grew up. You know, even if I go back and watch two years ago, I can go back and see, you know, how my editing improved or what I used to do then. It was just so crazy going back and watching my cruise videos that were from five, six years ago. And going back and watching that and just seeing the way I talked and the way I acted and things I would wear and say and it was just so weird. And at the time I thought this was such an unimportant video and like, well, who cares really? And now looking at it, I'm like, wow, I'm so happy I uploaded this. I don't even care if anyone ever watched it because I got to go back and look at it. We were both just cracking up because we couldn't believe that this was what we were like. And it was interesting because we were so different and our families were so different. I feel like my channel, for me, I mean, I don't think I really have people who watch these that have watched from day one. If you have, then that's amazing. Please let me know. But at least for me, it's crazy to be able to look back and see all of these things that I did and just like the way I was. And I think I kind of forgot about that. I was kind of like, well, I don't really want to post. No one cares anyway. I think that's discouraging. When you make a channel, people don't watch and you're like, dang, this sucks. 
but now when I go back and look at my channel, I'm so proud of it just because it's something that even if I wasn't completely consistent with, it's something that I really valued for so many years. And if you go back on my channel, of course I have embarrassing things that I said. And obviously if you watch my videos, there's some stuff in my old videos that I'm just like, why would I ever say that? Either it's like rude or not funny or whatever. But watching me do those things and say those things, as cringy as it is, I feel like I, I can see how far I've come from that moment. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of rambling. I guess if you're thinking about starting a channel, do it. I posted videos when I was in high school and I posted them not consistently, but relatively frequently over those years, you know, from then to now. And now I go back, I see videos from when I was in high school, when I got my braces, when I failed my driving test, all of my college videos about moving to college when I didn't know anyone and then making friends and my roommates and all of those things to me are so crazy because those were such huge moments in my life that I'm so grateful that I can watch a video and look back on it and be like, wow, this is what it was like. This is what my first dorm looked like. This is exactly how I decorated it. These are what my roommates sounded like and looked like and act like, and this is what I wore then. And these are the classes I went to. You know, those like small videos where it's just me and Casey going to class and just shooting the shit and doing nothing are so much better now because it's like, you know, we will send videos to each other once in a while and it's crazy. We're like, I forgot about this. This was something we did all the time. It, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but for me, I've just been going back recently and watching old videos and just, I can't believe how much has changed and how different my life is. I guess the reason why I'm saying all this is because tomorrow I'm turning 25. And to me, that's one nauseating, but just absolutely crazy that I, you know, started posting videos when I was 13 and I'm gonna be 25 and I wasn't gonna vlog anything because I'm not doing anything crazy I'm not a birthday person, but I care about the fact that man I'm turning 25 You know when you when you have a birthday you think like man, what have I done? Like what am I wanting to do? Like am I old am I young and at this point? I feel like 25 is old <laughs> which is crazy and maybe you know one day I'll look back at this and be like you have no idea I think that's why I wanted to make this because I wasn't gonna vlog and I was like I have nothing exciting going on, but then I was like well what if I just want to look back and see what I had to say when I was 25 and what I sounded like and what I was wearing, although this isn't a good in person. I just picked this out. I just grabbed this out of the top of my drawer. Anyway, I just have a little message to my future self, I guess, if I'm gonna go back and watch this one day. Maybe not, but I think I will. Hi, future Sierra. It is May 23rd, 2019. Tomorrow you're gonna be 25 and that's crazy. I, you, we just, feel like we just turned 16 the other day. And I remember having a sweet 16 and having all my friends over and just thinking that high school was so tough. Then I went to college and I remember thinking college was so tough. And now I'm in adulthood and this is so tough, like really hard. And maybe you're looking at me, us right now and you're like, honey, you got a big storm coming, but <sighs> Do I have it figured out? I have that question for you. What is your life like? What is our life like right now? Do I still live in Florida? God, I hope not. But that's where I live right now, in this apartment with Ryan. And I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. Up until this point, I had two jobs after college, um, two real like office jobs. The first job was kind of good as a starting point but in the long run, it would have never turned into anything. So I'm glad that never worked out fully. And the second job was just such a joke. And I feel like it was actually really a low point for me. And I just stopped working there within six months, I'd say. So it's fresh, but it was something that I was never passionate in. It just was like, hey, I need to make money. So I'll take this job and that didn't work out, which I'm actually happy for, but now I just feel like I'm stuck. And I wonder if you have it figured out for us. I hope so, because I don't have it figured out right now. Currently, I am freelancing and I'm working on that show, which is fun, but I don't know how long it'll last, so. And yeah, I've traveled a lot. I post a lot on Instagram. I guess you could say Instagram is important to me, as dumb as that sounds, but at this time, Instagram is super important to me. I have been trying to post every day this week. This is what it looks like right now. I don't know, I wonder if when I'm watching this one day, that'll be funny to look at and be like, wow, that looks old. Does Instagram even still around? 
I wonder who my friends are. Do I look like this still? Is my hair this long? Is it shorter, longer? I hope this wasn't too cringy and embarrassing. That's probably all I got. Let me know if you have figured out. I'll be waiting. So I know that probably was like a little corny for my channel, but I feel like I've gone back now and watched so many old videos that I wish I had done that for myself now. So hi, future Sierra. This is 25 year old Sierra talking to you. That's all I got. See you in the future.